So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at the JavaScript array for each method and see how you can use it to loop through an array of values. So we've got an array here and it's just a simple array of numbers. Uh, and normally what you might want to do uh, to loop through and display all these values is to use a for loop and that's perfectly fine. But the other option that you've got is to use a built-in array method, which is available in all arrays uh, in JavaScript, which is the for each method. So we simply call it on the array name itself and the for each function just takes in a function as its argument as well so we can just pass in an arrow function here or you can use the function keyword if you prefer and this function will get called once for each item in the array and at each iteration or for each item uh, we'll get an argument in this function which will represent a value in the array so we can call this item we can call it anything we like it could be i or number might be appropriate in this example and then once we've got that in our function, we can do something with the value, such as log it out to the console, or do something else with those values that are inside the array. So one important thing to note about the for each loop is if you do any changes to any of the values here, so for example, if we uh, increment the item value before we actually log it out to the console here, if we go and log out the array after the for each loop has finished, then you can see that uh, the array hasn't actually been changed. Those values are still exactly the same. So you can actually access a bit more information inside of this function each time it gets called for each item in the array. So the first thing is you can get the index position uh, for when the function is being called. So this will go 0, 1, 2, 3 up until the end of the length of the array. And we can also access the array itself. So if we did, for example, want to increment all of the values that are inside this original array, then what we can do is in the uh, array reference that we've got, we can access each item at its index position, and then we can increment that value by one. And if we just remove this console log here, you can see when the for each loop has finished now, we have indeed actually gone through each item in the array and added one to its value. So you probably wouldn't do this normally because there are some other JavaScript array methods which will do this uh, better for you. But just to illustrate that you can loop through each of the items in the array, but they won't actually change unless you make a direct reference to the original array itself. One final thing about the for each method as well is you can't actually stop it. It will keep going until it reaches the end of the array unless you throw an exception. Whereas that's a bit different with a normal for loop because what you can do with those is use the continue break or if it's inside of a function, the return keyword to actually stop the execution of that for loop. So just another subtle difference about using the for each function rather than a standard for loop. So there we go, that's it for the for each function in JavaScript. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.